today that it would be nice to look at the idea of using the bow to impart rhythm into the tune. Using a tune called Clark's Reel. And this is how the tune goes. Now you may have noticed I was using the bow there to impart a distinct beat to the tune. So every time I want to impart a beat I flick the bow and push the bow a little harder to, to give that rhythm, that sort of forceful note. I can do it either on a down bow or an up bow. doesn't matter as long as I put a little bit extra pressure on the bow to give that rhythmical sound to the bowing. So the tune slowly Do you see how I'm using that bow? To give that rhythm so it goes da, 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 da. there's a distinct pulse going on well, as long as you bear in mind that you've got to bring that rhythm from your body you've got to loosen up it's no use playing the violin very stiff and and trying to read the music on a stand because it just doesn't work like that. With fiddle music you have to learn the tune so that once you've learnt the tune and memorised the tune you, you can play it without thinking. That's, that's the key. And then you can actually really play it. You can impart some soul into the tune and make it sound special. So with this tune I'm using my body, I'm using, I'm fairly flexible, I'm using the bowing to actually give me the rhythm. So each time I'm bringing that pulse in pulse in, I'm changing direction of bowing and I'm pushing slightly harder on the bow. That's the only part of the tune where I don't really push the bow quite as much. because there's a run there that if you try and push the bow at that point I think it would sound wrong. It would spoil the rhythm. But overall, most of the tune you can use a technique where you push that bow slightly harder with a change of direction. with this particular tune you can change key by starting on the E string.
and then slightly slowing it down if, if you're finding that was a little bit too quick my earlier demonstration I'll try and take it a little slower into your tune using the bowing um, and keeping fairly flexible holding the violin in a relaxed way so that you can play from memory and use your body perhaps as I do I certainly use my body to, to put the rhythm into the tune of course if you're sitting down it's not quite as easy so you might then decide to tap your foot and that can give you the rhythm as well of course a lot of very good fiddle players do use their feet to, to beat out the rhythm so it's a great way of keeping the rhythm and tying that to your bowing okay I hope that was useful I'll see you again soon and uh, we'll, we'll see if there are any other um, techniques that you might be interested in thanks for watching and see you again soon bye bye now